Chapter 1 Introduction to Herbalism Herbalism is the study of the therapeutic properties and uses of plants for medicinal purposes. It has been a part of human history since ancient times, as people have long turned to herbs as natural remedies for a range of ailments. This traditional practice has become increasingly popular in recent years as people seek alternative and natural forms of health care. The study of herbs and their medicinal properties is an interdisciplinary field that combines elements of botany, pharmacology, and traditional medicine. The goal of herbalism is to identify the active compounds found in various plants and to understand how they interact with the human body. Once these properties are identified, they can be used to treat a range of conditions. Herbs have been used for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. In fact, many of the medications we use today have their roots in traditional herbal remedies. For example, aspirin, a common pain reliever, was originally derived from the bark of the willow tree. Additionally, many modern drugs are synthesized versions of compounds first discovered in plants. Herbs have a wide range of uses, from promoting relaxation and reducing stress to reducing inflammation and boosting the immune system. Some herbs also have antimicrobial properties and can be used to treat infections. Others can help to alleviate symptoms of chronic conditions such as arthritis and fibromyalgia. One of the most appealing aspects of herbalism is that it offers a natural alternative to traditional medications. Many herbal remedies are gentle and have few, if any, side effects when taken as directed. Additionally, the high cost of prescription drugs has led many people to look for more affordable alternatives. Herbs are much less expensive than pharmaceuticals and can be grown easily at home. Herbs can be taken in a variety of forms, including teas, tinctures, capsules, and salves. When preparing herbal remedies, it is important to follow the dosage instructions carefully as some herbs can be toxic in large amounts. It is also important to purchase high-quality herbs from a reputable supplier to ensure maximum potency and purity. Herbalism is not just a way to treat specific health conditions, it is also a way to promote overall wellness. Herbalists recognize the importance of a holistic approach to health, emphasizing the need for a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress reduction in addition to herbal remedies. In conclusion, herbalism is a fascinating and practical field of study that combines the benefits of traditional medicine with the natural properties of plants. Through the study of herbs and their therapeutic properties, we can learn how to harness the power of nature to promote health and well-being. Whether you are looking for a natural alternative to traditional medications or simply seeking to promote overall wellness, herbalism has something to offer. Question, what is herbalism? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, History of Herbalism For thousands of years, cultures all around the world have turned to traditional medicine and the healing properties of plants. From ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Greeks to indigenous tribes in the Americas, herbalism has played a vital role in the treatment of a wide range of ailments. Our ancestors were well versed in the use of herbal remedies, using plants and natural substances to treat everything from digestive issues to infections. They passed on this knowledge from generation to generation, creating a rich tradition of herbalism that survives to this day. In many cultures, herbalism was thought to be a gift from the gods. The ancient Greeks, for example, believed that the god Asclepius taught humans how to use plants for healing. Similarly, the Native Americans believed that plants were given to them by the Great Spirit for their use and benefit. The use of herbal remedies spread throughout the world as cultures interacted and exchanged ideas. The Silk Road, for example, was a major conduit for the trade of herbs and spices between Europe and Asia. Chinese herbalists developed a comprehensive system of herbal medicine, which spread to neighboring countries and beyond. During the Middle Ages, 
European herbalism underwent a revival as monks and nuns collected and studied herbs. Many of the remedies they developed are still used today, such as chamomile tea for relaxation and peppermint for digestion. Herbalism continued to be an important part of traditional medicine throughout the centuries. In India, the Ayurvedic system of medicine uses herbs and other natural substances to promote balance and harmony in the body. In Africa, traditional healers use herbs and other natural substances to treat a range of illnesses. Today, herbalism is experiencing a resurgence as people seek natural alternatives to traditional medications. Many people are turning to plants and herbal remedies for their healing properties, which can help alleviate symptoms of chronic conditions and promote overall wellness. The study of herbs and their therapeutic properties remains a vital field today, with scientists working to identify the active compounds in plants and understand how they interact with the human body. This research is helping us to develop new and more effective herbal remedies for a range of health conditions. As we continue to explore the healing properties of plants, we are rediscovering the wisdom of our ancestors and the power of traditional medicine. Whether you are looking for a natural alternative to traditional medications or simply seeking to promote overall wellness, herbalism has something to offer. Question, what is the history of herbalism? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Benefits of Herbalism As Maria sat in her doctor's office, she couldn't help but feel skeptical about the prescribed medication for her recurring migraine. She had heard of the side effects and was worried about the long-term impact it could have on her health. It was then that her doctor suggested an alternative approach herbalism. Instantly, Maria's interest was piqued. The thought of a safe and effective natural remedy was appealing. With minimal side effects and a more holistic approach to her overall health and wellness, she was eager to give it a try. Maria decided to consult a herbalist who specialized in migraine treatment. The herbalist took the time to understand her symptoms, personality, and general health. After a comprehensive consultation, they prescribed a customized blend of herbs. At first, Maria was hesitant as she was skeptical about its effectiveness. However, within weeks of incorporating the herbal blend into her daily routine, Maria noticed a significant improvement. She began to have fewer migraines, and the intensity of her headaches had decreased. With each passing week, she felt more energized and overall healthier. She was amazed by how effective these natural remedies were. Her body was responding positively without any adverse side effects that were typically associated with conventional medication. Moreover, herbalism was not just addressing her migraine, but also other health issues she had been experiencing, including a weak digestive system and anxiety. With the holistic approach of herbal medicine, it was treating her body in its entirety, and she felt a significant improvement in overall well-being. Maria had been astounded at how herbalism had given her a new lease on life. She knew that this was just the beginning, and there was so much more to explore and understand about the healing properties of nature. From that day on, Maria continued to consult her herbalist regularly. She had developed an affinity and trust in their expertise and the wonders of herbal medicine. As she began to incorporate herbalism into her daily routine, she noticed that it had brought significant balance and harmony to her body and mind. In the end, Maria realized that herbalism was not just a trend or an alternative approach. It was a way of life. It was a safe, effective, and natural way of treating ailments, and it had changed her life for the better. Question, what are the benefits of herbalism? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Basics of Herbalism As Jane Nell delved deeper into her study of herbalism, she found herself lost in the intricate details of plant identification and harvesting techniques. It was a world she never imagined existed, 
but now that she had discovered it, she was completely engrossed. She spent her days poring over botanical texts, learning about the intricate details of different herbs and their therapeutic properties. She was fascinated by how each herb had its unique benefits, and how they could be combined to create powerful herbal remedies. Janelle's journey into herbalism had begun with a simple curiosity about natural medicine, but it had quickly become a passion. She was eager to learn more and explore the field of herbalism. As she read more about the different herbs and their uses, Janelle realized the importance of properly harvesting and preparing them to ensure their potent therapeutic properties were preserved. She learned that the timing and method of harvest could make all the difference in the potency of the plant. For instance, roots were more potent in the fall, while leaves and flowers were best harvested in the spring or summer. The preparation of herbs was also an essential aspect of herbalism. There were various techniques for making teas, tinctures, salves, and various other herbal remedies. Janelle learned that the method used to prepare the herb could affect its medicinal qualities. For example, some herbs were more potent when freshly dried, while others required aging to enhance their therapeutic benefits. Dosage was another critical aspect of herbalism. Different herbs had different recommended dosages, depending on their potency and the ailment being treated. Janelle learned that taking too much of an herb could be just as detrimental as not taking enough. As Janelle continued her studies, she became increasingly fascinated with the therapeutic properties of various herbs. She learned about their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, how they could boost the immune system and provide relief from common ailments such as cold and flu symptoms. Janelle was amazed at how nature could provide such potent medicine. She realized that the healing power of herbs was not simply anecdotal, but backed up by centuries of research and tradition. In the end, Janelle knew that her journey into herbalism was only just beginning. There was so much to learn, so many herbs to explore, and so many remedies to create. She was excited to take what she had learned and integrate it into her life, sharing the benefits of herbal medicine with those around her. Janelle knew she had a lot to learn, but she was eager to continue her studies and become a master in the world of herbalism. She realized that there was a fascinating and ancient science behind herbal medicine, and she was eager to become a part of it. Question, what are the basics of herbalism? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Common Medicinal Herbs Janelle was now well-versed in the world of herbalism. She had spent countless hours studying various herbs and their uses in promoting health and wellness. In Chapter 5 of her Botanical Guide, Janelle explored some of the most common medicinal herbs used for their healing benefits. The first herb on her list was chamomile, a plant that many people were familiar with due to its use in teas. But chamomile was more than just a soothing tea. It had potent anti-inflammatory properties that could help with everything from easing menstrual cramps to reducing inflammation in the digestive system. Next on the list was Echinacea, a plant known for its immune-boosting properties. This herb was often used to prevent or shorten the duration of cold and flu symptoms by stimulating white blood cell production. Ginger was another commonly used herb that had a variety of health benefits. In addition to aiding digestion and reducing inflammation, ginger was known for its ability to ease nausea and vomiting. Many pregnant women found that ginger tea or ginger candies offered relief from morning sickness. Janelle's guide also covered peppermint, an herb commonly used for its digestive benefits. The menthol in peppermint could help relieve gas and bloating as well as reduce nausea. Unlike some other digestive remedies, peppermint was safe for daily use and had a refreshing taste. Turmeric was another herb with potent anti-inflammatory properties. This bright orange spice was used to promote joint health, reduce inflammation in the body, and even lower cholesterol levels. 
Janelle was amazed at the array of health benefits that turmeric provided. Finally, Janelle's guide covered lavender, an herb known for its calming properties. Lavender had been used for centuries to promote relaxation and reduce anxiety. In addition to its calming aroma, lavender was also used externally as a natural remedy for dry or irritated skin. As Janelle continued to read, she realized that these common medicinal herbs could do more than just promote health and wellness. They could also be used to treat a variety of ailments, from headaches to insomnia. Danielle was fascinated by how nature could provide so many different natural remedies, each with its unique benefits. After reading through the entire chapter about common medicinal herbs, Janelle felt empowered and excited to integrate these herbs into her daily routine. She knew that herbalism was not just a passing trend, but an ancient and effective science that could help people achieve optimal health and wellness. Janelle spent the rest of the day making herbal teas and trying out new natural remedies. She was thrilled to see how just a few simple herbs could make such a significant difference in her overall health and well-being. As she sipped on a fragrant cup of chamomile tea, Janelle knew that her journey into the world of herbalism had only just begun. Question, what are some common medicinal herbs? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Herbs for Common Ailments Janelle woke up feeling terrible. She had a pounding headache and her throat was sore. She knew that she had caught a cold and she didn't want to rely on over-the-counter medications that could make her feel drowsy. Instead, she turned to her botanical guide to see what natural remedies could help her get better. In Chapter 6, Janelle found a wealth of information on herbs for common ailments. She learned that peppermint was an excellent herb for treating headaches and nausea. Janelle boiled some water and added fresh peppermint leaves to make a strong tea. She breathed in the steam while sipping the tea, and she felt her headaches starting to ease. Next, Janelle read about sage, an herb that had been used for centuries to soothe sore throats. Sage had powerful antibacterial properties that could help to fight the infection that was causing Janelle's cold. She made a sage infusion, steeping the leaves in hot water and gargling with the warm liquid. For her congested sinuses, Janelle turned to thyme. This herb had natural decongestant properties that could help to relieve her stuffy nose. She made a thyme steam, boiling water with fresh thyme, and breathing in the steam under a towel. The warm thyme vapor helped to open up her airways, and she felt like she could breathe easier. Janelle also found that herbs could help with digestive problems that were often associated with colds. She learned that chamomile tea could help soothe an upset stomach, while ginger was a natural anti-inflammatory that could help with nausea. She made a pot of chamomile ginger tea, which tasted delicious and helped to settle her stomach. After trying out these remedies, Janelle felt much better. She was amazed at how powerful these herbs were in treating her common ailments. She felt happy knowing that she didn't need to rely on over-the-counter medications and instead could use natural remedies that were readily available to her. As Janelle continued to read, she realized that natural herbs were not only effective in treating common ailments, but they were also affordable and accessible. She couldn't wait to share her newfound knowledge with her friends and family so that they too could benefit from the power of herbs. Janelle was thrilled to discover the many benefits of herbs and how they could help with a variety of common ailments. She continued to experiment with different herbs, drawing on the knowledge she had learned in her botanical guide. Janelle knew that herbs would always be a part of her daily routine, and she felt grateful for the ancient wisdom that had been passed down through the generations. As Janelle sipped on her chamomile ginger tea, she felt a sense of peace and contentment. Her botanical guide had not only opened her eyes to the world of herbalism, 
but it had also given her a sense of connection to the natural world around her. She knew that her journey into the world of herbs was just beginning, and she was excited to see where it would take her. Question what herbs can be used for common ailments. Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7 Herbal Teas and Tisanes Maria was sitting by the fireplace, wrapped in a warm blanket, with a book in her hands. She sighed contentedly, taking in a cozy atmosphere of her living room. She had always loved the winter season, but this year she decided to make it even more special. She had always been interested in natural remedies and herbs, but it wasn't until she discovered the world of herbal teas and tisanes that she truly felt passionate about it. She had been experimenting with different herbs and flavors for the past few weeks, and tonight she decided to try something new. Maria picked up her botanical guide and turned to Chapter 7, Herbal Teas and Tisanes. She read about the different types of beverages that could be made from steeping herbs in hot water and the many benefits and medicinal properties that each herb possessed. She knew that herbal teas were not only delicious and refreshing, but also provided a myriad of health benefits. Maria decided to make a chamomile tea, her favorite. She had learned that chamomile had natural anti-inflammatory properties and was great for reducing stress and promoting relaxation. Maria filled a small pot with hot water and added dried chamomile flowers. She let it steep for a few minutes before straining the liquid into a cup. She took a deep breath, enjoying the aroma of the fragrant flowers. Maria took a sip, and a sense of calmness washed over her. The tea tasted soothing and floral, with a hint of sweetness. She felt the warmth of the cup in her hands, and the heat spreading through her body. She knew that even beyond the taste, each sip of this tea was packed with herbal goodness that would benefit her in many ways. Maria continued to experiment with other herbs and flavors. She learned about the health benefits of peppermint, ginger, and lavender, among others, and enjoyed exploring their different flavors and properties. Some of the herbal tisanes she made were invigorating, while others were calming or soothing. She found that brewing tea had become not only a daily ritual, but a source of creativity and experimentation. Maria had always been a coffee drinker, but the more she learned about herbal teas and tisanes, the more she realized how much natural goodness she was missing out on. She began to feel more energetic, healthier, and more in tune with her body. The benefits of incorporating herbs into her daily routine reflected on her overall well-being. As Maria closed her book, she felt contented and relaxed, knowing that she had discovered something new. She knew that beyond the delicious taste of herbal teas and tisanes, they provided a powerful tool for holistic health and wellness. She felt grateful for the natural remedies that the earth had given us and how simple it was to enjoy them as a part of her daily routine. From that moment on, drinking herbal beverages was a vital aspect of her life. Question, what are herbal teas and tisanes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Herbalism in Beauty and Skincare. Jane had always been a lover of natural beauty and skincare products. She believed that her skin deserved the best, and she knew that the natural properties of herbs and plants provided a plethora of benefits for the skin. That's why when she discovered the world of herbalism and beauty and skincare, she was hooked. She started to explore the holistic approach of herbalism and how it could help her skin in a natural and beneficial way. She learned about different herbs and plants and how they could be used in products to improve skin health. From chamomile to lavender, peppermint to rosemary, she was amazed at the variety of options available that could be incorporated into a skincare routine. Jane learned that herbalism in beauty and skincare had been around for centuries and was an ancient practice that had been passed down through generations. 
she discovered that natural ingredients used in skincare products could help to soothe, nourish, and protect the skin. Unlike chemical laden skincare products, herbalism focused on using natural plant extracts and oils that worked in harmony with the body. Jane started to experiment with different herbal infusions and masks and noticed a significant change in her skin. Her skin felt more radiant, hydrated, and supple. She discovered that the natural properties of herbs contained antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that were essential for healthy skin. Jane's newfound love for herbalism in beauty and skincare had become more than just a routine. She found herself fascinated by the benefits of natural products, becoming more knowledgeable about the properties of each herb she used. She started to make her own products using ingredients such as rosehip oil, aloe vera, and green tea extract. As time went on, Jane's skin started to show a remarkable difference. She felt more confident and beautiful, knowing that her skin was being nourished in a natural and holistic way. She knew that using natural products was a proactive approach to her overall health. Jane began to share her love for herbalism in beauty and skin care with others, encouraging them to try natural products and embrace the holistic approach of skin care. She believed that beauty was not just about the outside appearance, but about taking care of the body inside out. Herbalism provided a way to achieve that. As Jane continued to use natural products, she found that her skin was not just healthy, but it was glowing. She felt a sense of connection to the earth and her body, using nature's gifts to enhance her natural beauty. She was grateful for the knowledge she gained in herbalism and the benefits that it had brought to her life and her skin. Jane's experience with herbalism in beauty and skincare had changed the way she looked at skincare products. She realized that natural was not just a trend, but a way of life. Using natural products was a proactive approach to overall health, and she knew that her skin would continue to thank her for it. Question How is herbalism used in beauty and skincare? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9 Herbalism in Cooking and Cuisine. As an avid cook, Sarah had always been fascinated by the world of herbalism in cooking and cuisine. She loved experimenting with different herbs and spices to create new and exciting flavors in her recipes. For her, cooking was not just about nourishing the body, it was also about pleasing the senses. Sarah learned that herbs and spices contained not only flavor but also health benefits that could improve the immune system and reduce inflammation in the body. She was amazed at the power of natural ingredients and how they could be used to enhance meals in a healthy and delicious way. Sarah experimented with different herbs and spices and discovered new recipes that incorporated these aromatic ingredients. She learned how to balance the flavors in her dishes, creating a harmonious blend of herbs and spices that complemented each other perfectly. Sarah became more knowledgeable about the health benefits of each herb and spice she used, understanding how certain ingredients could improve digestion, boost the immune system, and aid in weight loss. She began to add herbs such as thyme, rosemary, and oregano to her dishes as they were known for their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Sarah started to incorporate herbal teas into her cooking, using chamomile for a calming effect, peppermint for digestion, and lavender for relaxation. She discovered the versatility of these teas and how they could be used to add flavor to desserts and sweets. As Sarah continued to use natural ingredients in her cooking, she found that her meals had become healthier, more flavorful, and more satisfying. She discovered that herbalism in cooking and cuisine was not just about adding flavor to dishes, but it was also about enhancing nutritional value and creating meals that were good for the body and soul. Sarah started to share her passion for herbalism in cooking and cuisine with her friends and family. She shared her recipes and knowledge of herbs and spices, encouraging them 
to explore the world of natural ingredients. She believed that cooking with herbs and spices was not only beneficial for health, but also therapeutic, providing a sense of relaxation and comfort. As Sarah continued to incorporate herbalism into her cooking, she found that her meals became a reflection of her love for natural ingredients. She created meals that were not only delicious, but also nutritious, using herbs and spices that were packed with health benefits. Sarah's love for herbalism in cooking and cuisine had become a way of life. She found joy in exploring different herbs and spices, creating new recipes, and sharing her passion with others. She was grateful for the knowledge she had gained and the benefits that it had brought to her life and her cooking. In conclusion, herbalism in cooking and cuisine had opened up a new world of flavor and health benefits for Sarah. She realized that nature had provided everything she needed to create meals that were not only delicious, but also beneficial to the body. With every meal, she felt a sense of connection to the earth and a deep appreciation for its gifts. Herbalism had not only improved her cooking skills, but had also changed the way she looked at food, making her appreciate the power of natural ingredients for a healthier and more satisfying culinary experience. Question, how is herbalism used in cooking and cuisine? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, Herbalism and Mental Health Sarah had always been interested in exploring the benefits of herbal remedies and was curious to know how they could help with mental health issues like anxiety, stress, and sleep issues. She had read about the soothing properties of lavender, valerian, and passion flower, and how they could provide natural relief to those struggling with mental health issues. She decided to delve deeper into the world of herbalism for mental health and began researching more about these powerful herbs. Her search led her to a local herbal store, where she met a herbalist who introduced her to a range of herbs that could help with her mental and emotional well-being. The herbalist suggested that Sarah try a combination of lavender, valerian, and passion flower to help her with her stress and anxiety. Sarah wanted to try the herbs but was a bit nervous about their potency, so the herbalist reassured her that she would start with small doses and gradually increase them over time. Sarah started taking the herbal remedies regularly, and she began to feel more relaxed and calm. She noticed that the herbs helped her fall asleep more easily and wake up feeling refreshed and energized. As she continued to use the herbal remedies, Sarah saw an improvement in her overall mental health. She felt more in control of her emotions and was able to manage her stress and anxiety better. Sarah realized that incorporating herbalism into her routine had brought a much-needed natural relief for her mental health challenges. She began to deepen her understanding of the power of herbs, and she learned more about other natural remedies that could help with mental health issues. Sarah started to make her own herbal teas, creating blends of chamomile, lemon balm, and lavender to help with her relaxation and mental clarity. She found the process of making the teas therapeutic and calming, and she enjoyed taking that time for self-care. As she shared her experience with her friends and family, Sarah found that many of them were also curious about the benefits of herbal remedies and how they could help with mental health. She began to share her knowledge and experiences, inspiring others to take a more natural approach to their mental health. Through her research and experimentation with different herbs, Sarah learned that herbalism could be a powerful tool for anyone struggling with mental health issues. She realized that there was significant value in taking a holistic approach to mental health using natural remedies like herbs to promote relaxation, balance, and well-being. As she continued to incorporate herbalism into her life, Sarah felt a newfound sense of calm, balance, and clarity. She was grateful for the power of herbs and the natural relief that they provided for her mental health issues. Question. How is herbalism used for mental health? 
Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Future of Herbalism. The future of herbalism looked bright. As more people seek natural remedies for their health issues, herbalism has emerged as a popular alternative medicine. The use of plants for their therapeutic properties has been around for centuries, but it's only recently that herbalism has gained widespread acceptance. The shift towards a more natural approach to health has been a long time coming, but people are now realizing the benefits of using herbs and plants as medicine. The rise in popularity of herbalism is attributed to the growing awareness of the negative side effects of conventional medicine, as well as the desire for more holistic and natural solutions to health problems. As research continues to uncover the therapeutic properties of plants, herbalism is becoming more sophisticated. Science is starting to acknowledge the value of using plants for their medicinal properties and is beginning to explore the potential of herbal remedies. The benefits of herbalism go beyond physical health. Plant-based remedies have been shown to have a positive impact on mental health as well. The calming and soothing qualities of lavender, chamomile, and other herbs can help reduce stress and anxiety. In fact, many people are now turning to herbalism to help manage mental health issues. As herbalism continues to grow in popularity, it is important to remember that it is not a replacement for modern medicine. While herbs can be effective in treating many ailments, there are some conditions that require medical attention. However, herbalism can be a valuable addition to a comprehensive healthcare plan. In the future, it is likely that herbalism will become even more popular. As people become more environmentally conscious and concerned about the impact of synthetic medicines on the planet, natural remedies are likely to gain even more traction. The therapeutic properties of plants are timeless, and people are realizing their immense value in promoting health and well-being. As herbalism continues to evolve, it is important to ensure that the herbs used are sustainably sourced. Many herbs are now endangered due to over-harvesting, and it is crucial that herbalists are mindful of the impact of their practices on the environment. In conclusion, the future of herbalism looks promising. With more people opting for natural remedies, the demand for herbalism continues to rise. The therapeutic properties of plants are finally being recognized, and herbalism is becoming an increasingly popular alternative to conventional medicine. As more research is conducted, the potential of herbal remedies will continue to be uncovered, and their use will become even more widespread. Herbalism is a valuable alternative to modern medicine, and its benefits extend beyond physical health to include mental and emotional well-being. The future of herbalism is natural, sustainable, and therapeutic. Question, what is the future of herbalism?